ready televisions. What that means is once I put these snazzy glasses on, all of a sudden, it feels like I'm actually driving in a 3D environment. Now to you, the image looks a bit blurry, and by my driving, I guess it looks a bit blurry to me too. But once you have these glasses on, you can play games in 3D, and also watch movies that give you that sense of depth perception. Cool stuff. The stagecraft for these products is amazing. There's lights, there's music, and a lot of anticipation and excitement from consumers. Check this product, product out, shown to us by Mark LaBelle from LG. This is a watch phone? Yes, this is an actual phone, or I should say it's a watch with a phone built into can it. Can you click around? Can I can, let me go ahead. It could light on up, so. And then what's nice about this product, it is a full 3G device. It will be available in Europe later on this year. So Europeans get this first. This is a give you an idea right here. So you have an MP3 player built into it, so you can listen to music on this device. You can pair up um, your Bluetooth on here, talk via the Bluetooth. But probably one of the most exciting things about this uh, particular handset, it actually has a little camera right in here. So oh, you can do that. you can do video conferencing on here. Wow. So you can literally hold the phone up to your face like this, talk to the person, they can see you and you'll see them talking on the phone at the exact same time. And then available worldwide, when do we think? Later on this year. Actually. Very cool stuff, making my watch seem archaic. Yes. Thanks a lot, Mark. All right, thank you. This product really caught my eye, Emily. What is this? This is the My View. It's a personal media viewer. Nice. So it is a way to watch your videos. So each eye location has its own monitor. Yes. And what can I see on this kind of device? You can watch anything that you've downloaded to, say, an iPod or any kind of portable device that has video out. So you can use it with lots of different things. It's universal. Gamers will love this piece of technology. It makes you feel like you're in the game. Watch as I shoot zombies. This weapon actually lets you feel the recoil. And it actually... You see the recoil on the pistol. And as I move the pistol around, it moves the game around. That is pretty cool. They also allow you to take the pistol off and replace it with a, a steering wheel, even a ball to recreate textures inside a game. Cool stuff, let's keep looking around. AT&T has announced a satellite television service. Yes. We're in a car with AT&T Cruise Hubs right now. Well, it's satellite TV in the car, similar to having a living room on wheels. And so we know that on top of this vehicle, there's a special satellite device. Yes, we have a satellite That's antenna. brand new. Oh, very brand new. It's a great technology developed in Israel. It kind of goes into a receiver, but we call it a set-top box, similar to you have at your home. And then with an RF remote control, you just change your channel just like you do in your living room. And it's not just huge companies here. Young entrepreneurs are taking advantage of CES as well. Like Moran Marek, you have technology you've brought to the CES floor. What is it? Uh, actually, sir, well, what we have here is the world's first projector phone in mass production. Let's see it. Well, if you would just hold that up for me. And as you can see here, we have a nice image going on here. You could actually focus it in and out. So a very, very nice image. And then let me play the video for you here, sir. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it. So there is a lot happening in this convention center. With more than 2,700 exhibitors, though, we can't possibly show you everything. So I've enlisted the help of Brian Cooley. He's an editor from CNET.com. We've got some special products here to look at of what really is sticking out at this CES in 2009. Well, Errol, everything here connects to the internet, what we call connecting to the cloud, to get media to make all these products better. For example, here's a netbook from Asus. Now, we've seen those before, but these are extremely hot right now. This is mm. what everyone's really excited about in Check computing. Check this out. Check that out. Rotating, and this is going to also be a touch screen. So when you fold it back as a tablet, you've kind of got this panel you carry around and not even use the keyboard sometimes. And nice. it's all about getting stuff off the web. Here is a system from Samsung. Blu-ray and DVD disc, of course, but it also connects to the internet to stream your audio and video. And these are players, this is a player that can play high definition movies. And this version, you're actually able to mount at home. It's, it's yeah, interesting how, how technology is. is now yeah. becoming more fashionable in the Finally, <laughs> <laughs> over here we've got a system from Linksys Cisco that is a multi-room audio system. Different sources in different rooms from one central box 
totally wireless, and again, pulls from the internet, as well as playing your digital music or playing your iPod collection, that sort of thing. And finally, here's a navigation unit from Dual that connects to digital radio to get the latest sports scores, weather, traffic information live, uh, fuel prices, whatever you want to know of that kind of everyday driving information, mm. it'll have fresh as opposed to today's nav units. It's all a stale database that's built in there. So everything here connects to make the product better and keep it relevant for the entire life that you own it. Now at CNET, you keep track of these things year round. Is that the theme at this year's convention? Yes. Wireless and then connectivity, things that are mobile and portable? At our next big thing session here at CES, we've pronounced that living in the cloud is the next big thing for 2009. And these are the kind of products that are emblematic of that. And anyone who has a smartphone, anyone who uses a wireless laptop right now, knows it already. They yeah. just have to be told this is what it's called. And that's what we're you know, kind of crowning it. So we know this is the kind of convention where products like the VCR were debuted, the yeah. Xbox, which yeah. every young person loves. Is there that one product this year, though? Is no, there that one advancement? No. Not that, really, right? And I'm actually pleased to say that because that shows that we've got an industry on the same page as opposed to one breakout company that mm. perhaps is going to yo-yo the industry to catch up with it. I would prefer for all of us to see a lot of companies going the same direction. It gives us more choice, more competition on pricing, and right. availability around the world. So in the end, who benefits? The consumer. Right. As it right. should be. <laughs> Mr. Schooley, thank you very much for your Thanks, time. Carol. Editor of CNET.com. We've got a lot more coming up from CES 2009. Microsoft makes waves with the release of their latest operating system, Windows 7. More on that next. The Situation Room, only on CNN. This is probably the most, one of the most exciting product announcements we've seen. This is the Palm Pre. Everybody was waiting with bated breath to see what Palm was going to announce. They have a new operating system and this new phone. And you can see it's a touch screen with a slider keyboard. And they really just changed the way this phone works. So you can see that it's, you, when you press that center button, everything that is on the phone becomes like a little card like this. It looks a little like the iPhone, I'm not gonna lie. It does, yeah, absolutely. But then what it does is sort of take that iPhone thing and go, here's a keyboard. Uh -huh. And it operates in a totally different way. Like the, the great thing about this phone, this is a little nerdy, but the great like thing about nerds. this phone is that the whole sort of operating system metaphor has changed. And what this phone can do is you can log into Facebook or Gmail or MySpace and it will just grab all of your contacts and put them in one single contact. So you don't have that thing where you have right. 15 different Molly Woods listed in your phone and all of them have different information. On this phone, that's, that is my favorite feature. On this phone, that's it. This one is very fancy and I think it's really relevant to the CES attendee because you walk around the show floor and they're trying to sell you a TV, a stereo, a receiver, you know, all these different devices and you need to control them. And this, for the first time, I think, makes it pretty easy to set up your remote control because it has a touch screen. Touch screen is huge. Amen to that. I know. So you choose your little devices here. You can set up a TV. And you, you, you basically, let's see if I can get, oh yeah, you can see the device list. It actually, there's what kind of device you want. And then once you choose that, it'll give you a list of the brands so that you could just say like, I have an LG TV or a Toshiba DVD player. And it does the code thing for you. This is the future. That's ben. right. That's right. Samsung Mobile Electronics. It, this is, these are OLED displays. This one is transparent. You can see right through it. Imagine it's it on your car windshield as you've got a GPS device. And then but, but that's thick compared to this. Super, super thin. 1.2 millimeters thin. This is a digital photo frame. And this is the future of digital photo frames from Samsung and a lot of other manufacturers who are making OLED displays. Can it get any thinner? Yes, it can. There's and it no can way. even bend. Yes, it can, it can get even thinner. bend. How many times away from the full-time duties at Microsoft, Steve Ballmer has taken his place? Here are the plans for Microsoft's future. Today, much of the stuff that we all care about sits in silos across your PC, your phone, the web. 
Your experiences are disconnected when you move from one to the other. Increasingly, those barriers are going away. And the cloud, the internet cloud, is connected.